hello everyone, I am Jack the Jack of Knaves, and welcome back to Ragecraft 3. So in the previous episode, we were exploring this place. We also did a ritual thing, and now we are back. We're back doing the thing. Uh, my intention here is that we should be able to get the crystal by the end of this episode, which would also make it make this area be a really short area. Thinking about it, it, it seemed kind of large at the beginning, I will tell you this much. Um, when viewing it upon first glance, or some way to phrase that, that doesn't sound super weird. Um, this looked like a really generous area, but now that we've kind of explored it and gotten through it, we actually kind of got through this really, really quick. Um, although, thinking about it, there's probably a good chance that that might have been influenced by the fact that we are immune to fire. Um, and considering this area seems to be the nether level, basically. Um, it basically became not a problem. So yeah. What are you? You're weird. Arcane bomb. Stop giving me arcane bombs! I don't want them. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with frost traps. Unless you give me like an upgraded frost trap, I'm not gonna use like anything else. Eh, it's a bomb. Alright. Um, I would like to get rid of these gas. Actually, the spawner's right there. Maybe we should look into getting rid of it, like, for good, instead of just individually getting rid of the gas. Yeah, that seems like the way to go about things. Heh <laughs> you missed. There we go. Ouch! Ow! Ah! What are things? I can't see, I'm blind. We're good. Okay. You go over there. I missed. What'd you hit? You silly ghast. You silly billy. You're so silly, you ghast. You're such a silly ghast. I don't know what I'm going for. Don't ask me. Um, yeah. What is this, anyway? It's like a statue. That's kind of cool, once I'm able to actually look at it. Pigman, do you mind? I'm appreciating your culture. I would appreciate it if you gave me a minute to appreciate the Pigman culture. My goodness. You guys don't ever stop, do you? I will I will say this. Pigmen are anything if not tenacious. Stop it. Okay. Yeah, it's like a cool like statue with like it's pointing. It's like, grr, go that way. It's like, oh, but that's not the way to the um crystal that I want to take from you. So I would like to politely decline your request for me to go that way. And it's like, oh, that's a very reasonable thing to do. Also, why are you talking to a statue? You need to not be around. Just as a general sort of statement. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Ah, grab this. And break that. And run away. Oh, but run away the good way. <laughs> We've escaped with our life. Well, uh, let's put this back into the emerald chest that I have not cleared out. Which also means that we've collected every emerald in this area. Ooh, very exciting. Um, also means that if we put this emerald away, in theory, uh, nothing can get rid of it. Hang on. You know, I think that pigment was passive, to be perfectly honest. Huh? Oh, oh. Okay, we're good. We did it! Also, look at my junk pile. That. It's all the stuff I didn't want. Bringing it to your attention so you can understand what happens. When an adventurer has many things that he doesn't want, he throws it in a pile on the ground like the horrible litterer he is. How dare I? How dare I come into the pigman's home and litter all over the place? What, am I entitled? Do I think I own the place? No, but I have thoroughly conquered it, so I feel like that entitles me to something. That doesn't. It's kind of rude. Just because I'm a gloriously wonderful adventurer does not mean I'm entitled to just throwing stuff on the ground. If anything, I should recycle it. Okay, there are a lot of you and that makes me nervous. The very unfortunate thing about this area, or I should say the thing that would be unfortunate about this area if I wasn't so amazing, um, would be the sheer amount of pigmen that are spawning. And normal pigmen. Unfortunately, this is unlike any other area. Oh, hey. Hey, stop it. Also, you stop it. Uh, yeah, there is no way for us to truly stop the pigmen. Even if we shut down all these, like, very dramatic spawners, which 
is important. There are a lot of them. Um, even as we are shutting these things down, we are still at risk of angering just normal spawning pigmen, which we can't shut down with light. I'll take it. Um, so that is something we do need to be conscientious of. Alright. There we go. What was in here? Oh, that was the uh, emerald that we got and then ran away. We got a bunch of cooked fish. Do pigmen like fish? Is that a thing? We did not go in there. So we have two more of those. And then we got, yeah, that's definitely the, whatever it's called, crystal. The thing we want at the place we need it. Alright, let's... Well, everything's not spawned, and there's finally a moment of peace. Uh, let's do that. Feeling better. Okay. Feeling great. Feeling fine. Let's clear out the other places first, because then we can grab the victory thingy as our last thing, and I'll feel all very conclusive. I'll feel like, wow, we sure did that final thing at the end. Where it should happen. That is a spawner in the ceiling. That's weird to me. Alright. You are fast now. There we go. Get rid of you guys. Stand away from the spawner in the ceiling because I don't want anything to drop down like that. There we go. That seems kind of weird. Come in here. I do not know where these spiders are, but I definitely hear them. Let's just do that, just for my own peace of mind. Oh, they're all up there. Okay, good enough. More books. I like books. Books are fun. Alright, um, this is the way up. So let's go over here and just take a sneak peek. Alright, we are hitting our way up. We're going to fight off these spooky, scary spiders. There we go. Spooky, scary spiders. Getting spooky scared. There we go. Is there nothing up here? Is that it? That seems kind of anticlimactic. What do we get out of here? Books? I mean, maybe they're good books. Maybe they're a really good read. Uh, okay. I'm gonna assume that they're a really good read. I guess I could look. There we go. <clears throat> Let's take a sneak. Fire aspect, power, efficiency, feather volume, protection. Yeah, they're pretty nice. It is worth noting that the books are nice. But at the same time, considering that we are using unbreakable armor, which by the way, good choice, Alicia. Unbreakable armor? I am loving it. Guess there's nothing back there. Um. Don't really have to care too much about the enchanter because we're not replacing our armor at all. If we were, that would be something that we would have to consider more. But we're not. Alright, you guys. You are dead now. I hear you. I hear the amount of you. And that amount is no small amount. Hey! I lit down that trap specifically to stop people like you. Alright. Do the murdering. There we go. Get the health regen. Very nice. Alright. <clears throat> We're getting very close to the conclusive. The conclusive is about to be concluding. Alright. Okay. Oh, this is fine. I don't care. More coming in. Nope. Oh, hey, a thing. Oh, I want to know about this. Maybe it's another... We'll finish up the weird set that we have. It's not necessarily a weird set. I don't want to, like, judge. Maybe another hat. I would love another hat. You are the Ruby Saber. Okay. I would like to know about this. I would like to know about it in a way that does not get me shot. You know, just saying. Open that. Let's take it. Wow, that is a good thing. Alright. Um, yeah, I'll give you those swords. You can hold all those swords. This ruby saber has sharpness, fire aspect, knockback, and unbreaking. Sharpness, fire aspect, okay. So it's... It's just good. 
This one has resistance, though. This one's just really nice. Wait, no, this one's better. How come this one has 13.25 attack damage and this is 7? Sharpness, I asked, breaking, I'm breaking, okay. Sharpness, fresh, whatever. We're gonna keep with the duelist actually, because the extra resistance is pretty nice, considering that we're gonna have our sword out, like, 90% of the time that we're doing stuff here. So, I think in general this sword is gonna be better, but it's good to know that if anything ever happens, for whatever reason, we have a backup sword. Eh. Alright, you go there, you go that way, you... That was weird. Is it any time I take damage there's a chance that I could... Let me double check it. I thought it was any time I make a kill. Oh, whenever I take damage. Oh. I thought it was whenever I made a kill, so there was like a chance to like do like a double... Like a arcane strike plus... Like a thing. But this is actually kind of nice too. Anytime I take damage, there's a chance that we'll just, like, explode. Eh, I'm not complaining. There we go. You may be very poisoning and annoying, but at the same time, I don't care, because I can get health from killing you. There we go. Again, not necessarily the most exciting of buildings. I mean, I guess, I guess what am I expecting, like, emeralds or something? I mean, there's not really emeralds that we can get. Speaking of which, we have six and three. There's a chance that we have an emerald block that we can upgrade. <laughs> I like the sound of that. But before we do that, we need to get the crystal thing. Let's do that. Um, let's keep an eye out for people like you. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm I'm a fan of it. The flame fight spikes. Okay. You claim to be fire resistance. I don't actually care because I have infinite fire resistance. So, you know. Um. Hmm. No pigment can enter now. What are you? You're just a blaze. So I don't actually care. You're just a blaze. So I don't actually care. You're just a blaze. Okay. You're just a blaze. Oh, very tricky, Elysian. And what are you? Whatever you are, I don't want to deal with you. So, you're dead. The pigmen are not aggro, I think. Yeah, you're fine with me. Okay. So you're absolutely fine with me taking this, then. No complaints whatsoever that I'm just going to walk off with your crystal thing. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I'm not gonna stop you from not stopping me. Dump a bump a bump 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 and escape. Boop! We did it! Kind of. We still gotta fight our way through all these pigmen. Or not. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you. I have to fight through. You are the last challenge. But you are no match for my really good sword. Because it's really, really good. Okay. Yay, we got the things. Ah, uh, let's... You're not mad at me. Oh, you are mad. Ah, they're so mad. Um, I'm going to grab the emeralds. And we are going to go back to the Victory Monument. And maybe we might even have enough to upgrade into another emerald block. But anyway, I will see you back at the Victory Monument. All right. Here we are back at the Victory Monument, and I was indeed correct. Not only do we have our new crystal for the Victory Monument, but we also have an emerald block to add. And, I double-checked, we do have every emerald in that place. So, so far, our track record is fantastic. So, first things first, let's put the purple crystal on the Victory Monument. Uh, yeah! We defeated the Cinderblood Temple! We're so good at video games. And then, the block of emerald. In emerald block number nine! Yay! The ancient gods have given us a present! Oh good. <laughs> Another Punisher. Sharpness, smite, fire aspect, knockback. True justice knows no mercy. Hmm. That's actually decent. But, it's no duelist actually. So that's fine. And then we have one more upgrade thing. So let's go ahead, break that. And then let's double check our upgrades. 
let's do that. Let's double check what possible upgrades we can go into. There's only a couple in the grand scheme of things that I want to consider. Um, but at the same time, it is good to take a look. So, here are the upgrades that we can consider. We're done with Life Drain. We're done with Frenzy. We are partially upgraded into Adrenaline Rush. We could get a level 2 of that, which would give us Fire Resist. Not really a big deal right now, because we have the Paladin set. Bumping into that mean that in theory we could get off the Paladin set, but at the same time, Fire Resist is really good for situations where we don't know that we're about to be in fire, generally speaking. Um, tainted Arrows, I don't care. I mean, we're not even really using arrows in this playthrough, so most of our strategy involves running and slashing, so we can kind of avoid that. Arcane Strike. Getting the advanced version of it would make it such that we would have a larger area covered when we actually proc it. Might be what we upgrade into. Um, scavenging, we just get more stuff. Eh, don't care, this is mainly a multiplayer thing. Uh, healing, we would be able to get um, regen 2 instead of regen 1 whenever our we don't take damage for a while. Pretty good. I would like it because it would make it so that we get back in the battle again, especially in those weirdly tense situations. But at the same time, not super necessary. Um, and then finally, Divine Shield, it would just make it so that the shield refreshes faster. Again, would be helpful, kind of like regen, such that we could get back in the fight and not have to worry about our health too much. But at the same time, we already, to a degree, have it, so it's not super important. Because of that, I think we are going to go into Arcane Strike 2. Yay! Advanced Arcane Strike! So now our Arcane Strike, when it hits, will be slightly larger. So, I think that'll actually do it for this episode. Um, I don't have anything left. So we finished that area. Um, I know that this area is going to be... Actually, this episode ended right on time. I'm so good at stuff. Actually, no, it's not, because I forgot how time works. That doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. So, in the next episode, we will check out the last area of the intersection, which also means that we are getting dangerously close to the end of the map. We have one more intersection to go, and just a couple more areas. We're getting near the end of the Victory Monument. Very exciting! As a note, I guess I could start asking now, just in case you guys have any ideas, if you guys want me to play another CTM after this, which I'm assuming you do considering you're here, let me know in the comment section below what CTM you'd like me to play. I will consider it and look into it. I have a few ideas rolling around in my own noggin, but I don't know which one I want to play. And I care about what you guys want to see. If there's a map in particular that you guys are super psyched about, then I want to know about it. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ragecraft 3, and as always, stay tuned for more.